Hi, my name is Don Palmer. I'm a talent specialist here at Michigan Works West Central. I'm going to be going through the workshop today, online job search and applications with you. This workshop will cover searching online job postings on mytalent.org, applying to a position through a company website, emailing a job application and resume, and additional resources. How to search for jobs on mytalent.org. This is simply under Pure Michigan Talent Connect, or PMTC. Listen, folks, if I can do it, so can you. It's really easy, and you have many opportunities to refine your search if you'd like, and I'm going to be explaining those as we go. Quick search with keywords, location, and distance you're willing to travel are noted here. And as I mentioned earlier, you can narrow your search. What will happen if you don't narrow, you're going to get a large listing of job postings in a particular location. If you want that narrowed even more by either um, your education, your distance you're willing to travel or whatever, you can do that and it's noted there. In those specific areas. Results are listed below. You may sort by relevance, post date, title, organization name, or city. And by sorting through those, you can see that a job posting and several job postings will be noted. Initially, the job postings will be in dark blue or a darker color. Underneath those job postings will be a brief summary and then it'll offer an opportunity to seek more information about those jobs. To get more information about the jobs, simply click the darker blue title of job and it'll sort, send you right to that section. Refine your search by selecting your education level. Remember what I said when we started? You can refine your search with, in a lot of ways, and this is another way you can refine it. Try alternative keywords, apply changes, and keep refining and expanding your search even more if you'd like. Job posting details. As I noted earlier, once you click the darker blue or dark colored job title, it will send you to a site such as this, which is titled Job Details. With that, it will give a brief job description, which is really interesting. And if it picks your curiosity, then you may apply for that position. And it gives information on how to do that. That information normally is found at the end of the job description. In this case, the example shows how to apply. It's a rather lengthy website. Don't freak out when you see that it's a long website. In some cases, some of those sites are the location or a phone call. In this case, in this example, it gives that site. So applying for jobs online. Some things you will need to apply. And it lists a series of items there. Email account, personal information, such as your ID, social security number, et cetera. Contact information for you, your references and past employers. Resume, possibly a cover letter, possibly honors, certificates, or transcripts that you have earned either in education or on the previous job or jobs. How to apply to a job online. Again, you can see the job description. If that picks your curiosity to enough, you may apply by clicking this rectangle, how to apply or apply for a job. If you don't have an account, you need to create one. It's really helpful. You can save documents. You can also come back 
and finished documents that haven't been completed and explains very easily how to do that. Just as importantly, if you don't have an account, you can click that and it will explain how to start making or creating a, an account for you. Fill out the required information to create an account. Make sure you remember this information, write it down. Folks, you may be on your mobile in some place, you may be on your laptop, or you may be on your regular computer at home. Uh, lots of opportunities to get on various sites, but you still need to remember those sites and account names or numbers. There's specifics on here that you go through with that list you, that show your email address, password. Some passwords require additional characters, whether it be letters, numbers, symbols, or a combination thereof. Others require, other accounts require some security questions that are exclusively for you, that with your own answer. Those uh, help with um, sites that, that when you're accessing those accounts that you are who you say you are. And that's why the security questions are there. And then you can either continue or cancel. So start your application again. Let's get started. Again, there's a job listing there. So you go through the questions until all are completed and you are able to save and finish later again, as I, as I mentioned. Some information uh, they may need, previous employment information, past supervisor, your work schedule preference. Many people love the word flexible. So if people ask you how flexible you are, you need to let them know how flexible you are. Also, honestly tell them, if you have a work preference that they're asking of you, honestly tell them, you know, sir, I'd just like to work Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 8 a.m. to noon. So if they ask you that or whatever, okay? So just be honest with them if they do ask you. If they don't, the word flexible is a key important word. Review your answers to be sure of their accuracy. And then submit your application. Just as importantly, you can also save and finish later if you prefer. Depending on the company and position, you may have to take additional quizzes or assessments. Kind of interesting, kind of different. Uh, in my career as an employee, I have had a couple instances where businesses have asked questions of my attitude and personality with questions. Kind of different, really unique, but some of them require that, so just go with the flow. Interesting. And so if they do ask you that, they will have, they will prompt you to take that assessment. Read the information they will be asking you. Sometimes you may save and continue, but others you must complete the quiz in one session. Questions are often arranged in a survey style format. Answer honestly. Don't make up an answer, just be honest. They're gonna find out how honest you are real soon. But keep in mind what employers may be looking for. There may be questions to test your skills and knowledge. Take your time and answer them to the best of your ability. Continue with the questions until you have received a confirmation that you have completed the assessment. If you haven't already, upload your resume and cover letter. Very important. It's always important to have a cover letter with your resume. And just know a resume is a piece of paper of you. It doesn't have to be a thesis, nor does the cover letter have to be a thesis. Short, sweet, to the point. And it shows you how you can add those information uh, to your account. Browse the computer for your saved document. And it gives you specifics on how to do that by browsing. Also shows where you can find access your document and at last, where to open those. 
sure that your resume and cover letter have been uploaded. Congratulations, you've applied for a job online. Now, I'm gonna stop here for a second. As I uh, wanna, as, as you may think, and it's important, there may be a time where you wanna go, you know, I just wanna, maybe I'll just go to that place. Or I know the guy who's in charge, I'm, maybe I'll just call him. Don't don't get scared and, and give up on that. Some businesses actually appreciate a personal visit and just let them know, hey, you know, I'm uh, sir or ma'am, I'm going to apply for this position. Uh, what do I need to do? And then they may tell you to apply online. So it never hurts to either stop by or call the business that you may be interested in applying for. Applying through email with a resume and a cover letter. Use a professional email address. Be focused and brief in your message in summary. Write an informative subject line. Use a formal greeting and closing. Include a professional electronic signature if needed. And double check that you've added your attachments. And then there's an example of an email um, job application. You can see the heading who it's to. You can also see the introductory, dear so-and-so. The body of the letter. Again, you can see that a letter has short, sweet, to the point, and also a paragraph may contain simply one sentence. Additional resources are noted. Several sites, mytalent.org, indeed.com, and LinkedIn. With questions, let us know. Give us a call. We're glad to help you. And we're here to help you. These are the locations that we're here to help you by virtual appointments only. We have a wealth of experience and, and past employee employer experiences. Give us a call. We'll be happy to help you. Some of us enjoy doing particular things more than others. And that's why we have a wealth of people that are flexible and willing to help you.